three people were discussing some recent translations of the Bible. One said, I like the new American version. It is so much clearer than the older versions and it's much more easier to read. The second said, I like the Jerusalem Bible. It's not only clearer, but it's more poetic and better laid out. The third said, I like my mother's translation the best of all. She translates the Bible into prayer and acts of love, where we can see it being lived out in daily life. As St John said, love is not just to be words or mere talk, but something real and active. Like I said a couple of Sundays ago, the Bible is not a bedtime story, book, but a plan of action. You'll never learn how to ride a bike without falling off it a few times. A song is not a song unless you sing it, and love is only a word unless you give it away. Last Sunday, Jesus comparing himself to the shepherd says, I know my sheep and mine know me. So we have to work at deepening our relationship with Jesus. Just building up a friendship with anyone takes time and effort. Spiritual fruits are not produced with a wave of the hand. At our baptism, we have been grafted on to the main vine, which is Jesus Christ, and at our confirmation, the union is strengthened. Just like the branches draw their life from the vine, we draw spiritual strength from Jesus so that the fruits of this union will be evident in our lives. This happens especially at Mass. In John's Gospel, Jesus says, Whoever receives me in Holy Communion will draw life from me. It's like the baby in the womb drawing life from its mother, a life which continues to be nurtured by the parents' love and attention for many years after the baby is born. But this love will eventually come to fruition. What a joy it is for a mother and father when their children begin to respond to their love in simple and spontaneous ways. The same applies to our relationship with Jesus. What joy it brings to the heart of Jesus when we love him for his own sake in good times and bad, and not merely for what we can get from him in the line of favours. In last Sunday's Gospel, Jesus says, The Father loves me because I lay down my life. I know God loves everyone, but when we lay down our lives for each other in simple and varied ways, he's especially fond of us, because then we are following closely in his son's footsteps. Today, Jesus talks about a branch being pruned to make it bear even more fruit. Now, if a little suffering or inconvenience comes our way, it might just be the little love test from our Lord. It's not very difficult to love those who love you, but by loving those who stretch us to the limit, real and lasting fruit is produced. Last Sunday we spoke about a shortage of vocations. However, I believe that the real crisis in the world is not a shortage of vocations, but a dearth of love, which is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. And it can only be sustained, however, by us remaining part of the vine, which is Jesus himself. Cut off from him, we can do precious little. Thank you for listening and God bless you all. Oh.